Okay, I know that if you are like me, you are focused on growth. And um, that's probably why you like to listen to this podcast, right? Because you are someone who wants to play a bigger game. You're uh, looking to figure out ways to, you know, get to the next level, to grow, to uh, maybe get a promotion, start a business. And I love that. I love that you are focused on uh, all of that. Or maybe you are just trying to figure yourself out. <laughs> And that's good too. So um, I I want to talk to you a little bit about growth today. I want to talk to you a little bit about how you can get the support you need to really accelerate your development, your growth. And, you know, no matter what you do professionally, whether you have your own business or you work for someone else, I believe that your career will grow to the extent that you do. Right. So if you are focused this year on leveling up and, and having more professionally, that is super exciting. And I will say that what you will want to focus on then is how you will grow and level up personally. So one of the things that can help you do that is is taking a look at who the people are in your life that can provide you with some coaching, mentoring, modeling. And listen, these people may be within distance, for short distance, like there's proximity to, to them. You could sit down and have coffee with them or jump on a call or, or something. Um, and then there might be other influencers that you can connect with and learn from, hopefully I'm one of them, that you can read a book or, you know, go to um, their uh, website, download their workshop, you know, listen to their podcast, right? So there are a lot of people in the world that you can be learning from. And I think that the most important part of our personal growth is how we are modeling our behavior based on what we're seeing around us. Now, the important thing to note about this is to have how you develop a little bit of discernment, right? Or filtering around, who am I listening to? Because I listen to a lot of podcasts. I read a lot of books. I take advantage of as much learning as I can. Um, I, I build it into my calendar and I plan for it at the beginning of the year um, to the best of my ability, I do some research and look at, you know, what I want to put in my personal growth plan. And then I add to it too throughout the year because other opportunities show up and, um, you know, things that I want to then take advantage of. But the, the key is I, I really pay attention to who I'm going to spend time with because, I mean, if... <laughs> If you really think about it, right? Everybody has something to say. Everyone has something to share. Everyone has something to teach, right? And and I love that. And I love that we are in a place in history where we have access to so much information, right? And I'm kind of laughing because you're listening to me, right? And I appreciate that. And I'm glad that you tune in every week and you share the, this podcast and you download it and uh, subscribe to it. What makes me someone you should listen to, right? So I can tell you why. Um, I, I have you know more than thirty years of experience uh, in business and in leadership. I'm a coach and have worked with um, thousands of people over the years and helped them to level up and blah 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 blah. I could go on and on, right? So there's a lot of reasons why you might connect with me, right? It could be my energy. Um, it could be my my belief system, right? So as you think about that, as you start to become more consciously aware of, hey, why do I listen to Anna's podcast every week? Um, who else are you listening to and why? Who's in your circle, all right? And our circle, if you picture it like a bullseye, there's lots of layers to that circle or, or levels, right? So there, there's going to be those people in the center, that are are really your trusted advisors. And then as we move out, you're going to have other people who you might, like I said, listen to their podcast, read their book. And, and it's so important for you to ask this question, who should I follow? Who should I follow and why? Right? Because you can learn from a lot of people you've never met before. 
And you can also be distracted by a lot of people and all of their um, messaging and all of the things that they want to put out there. Um, but I think if you could take a moment and really get clear about what is it I need to learn right now? So if your goal is to level up in your in your career, right, to uh, excel more at what you're doing or get a promotion or start a business uh, or even to get more, more followers on social media, right? You have to ask yourself after you have the what, why is that important to you, right? Because when you understand more of the why, you'll have the motivation to, to continue to pursue the goal, but it also will give you information about how to line up with the people around you, right? How to line up with the thought leaders, speakers, coaches, right? Mentors that will give you the guidance you need that is in alignment with your goal, that's in alignment with your values, right? Because that is so important because like I said a minute ago, if, if that's not all there in alignment, what you're listening to and what you're following could just be a, a little distraction and maybe some waste of time. So as you, as you look at this um, and you look at who you want to connect with, who you want to learn from, I think understanding more about who they are as people can reveal a lot too, right? Because you want to, you want to connect with a mentor who uh, is, is someone who is showing the characteristics that you want to emulate, right? Like I said, they, are they in alignment with your values? Right. So listen, as I've gotten older and wiser, I really pay more attention to those things than I used to. And I think that, you know, while a good mentor possesses wisdom and knows information that you want to connect with or learn, you also want to be aware of who they are as a person. Right. Because I think their character says a lot, too. Um, so. I, I, I want to also talk a little bit about coaching. Uh, as you know, I am a coach. I'm very passionate about coaching. I think that um, coaches have the ability to create an environment where we can start to see things from a different perspective. And you have people in your life who are teachers, who are mentors, who are coaches, and all three of those um Sorry, let me start again. You have people in your life who are coaches, who are mentors, who are teachers. There's a difference between teaching, coaching, and mentoring. And when you think about coaching, um, I mean, all of those people can make a huge difference in your life. And a coach is someone who believes in you and your ability to move forward. A coach understands that you are a whole person and that you have the power to figure things out. You just might need a little guidance. And so coaching is all about moving you forward. And a great coach can instill a strong belief in you and a strong belief system for you. And think about, you know, this, think about sports, think about um, how there could be multiple coaches for a player. And I think that the, the word coach, right, is, is really when you think about where it derives from, think about a horse drawn coach. Think about how those vehicles were originally used to transport royalty, um, and then it just became a common way to move around, right? Move around the town, move around your, your area. And a coach is something or someone who carries a valuable person or that. A coach is something or someone who carries a valued person from where they are to where they want to be. That is the definition of a coach. So that term that started as a mode of transportation originally for royalty is still the word we use today for that person who's going to carry you forward and you are a value. So hiring a coach 
could be a really powerful way for you to bridge the gap between where you are right now and where you want to be. So in um, the pursuit of your goals this year, where could you benefit from having that kind of partnership? Where could you benefit from having a coach who could really help you see things from a different perspective, who could help you figure out some strategy and who could move you forward? So that that is something that many of you might want to consider for your personal growth plan. And if coaching is um, something that you do want to consider, I'll tell you there are a couple of characteristics that you want to look for in a coach. Um, number one, you want to feel that there's a connection with the coach and you want to feel that they really genuinely care for you and your well-being. I think another characteristic of a great coach is that they're able to observe behavior. They're able to see what's going on, uh, even if it's not being talked about or said, right? They're, they're good observers of emotional intelligence, of body language, of tonality, of a lot of things that are packed into the way we communicate. Um, I think that the coach has to understand what you want to accomplish, right? So you also have, have to take some time to figure that out and articulate that with your coach. But the coach has to really understand what is the goal here and how to help you get there. I think a coach also has to be willing to hold you accountable and you have to be willing to be held accountable. So, you know, if you're thinking that you need a coach in your life, uh, you just have to ask yourself, and, you're, and a good coach will ask you too, are you ready for this? Do you feel like you're ready? And, and that's not to say that you're not going to have some discomfort or even pain along the way, um, but it just means that, yeah, you feel that you are ready to really move forward, right? And so when you make that choice to hire your coach, you know clearly that this is someone who's going to help you improve your life and your business and your relationships and really everything uh, that is important to you in your life. And not because they're specifically going to get into each of those areas, but because we know that when we start to create growth and improvement in one area of our lives, it can start to flow into the rest of our lives. So that that's powerful. Now, some of you might be thinking that you want to work with a mentor. And a mentor is a little different than a coach. A mentor is someone that probably has accomplished what it is that you're looking to do more specifically. And you want to be able to create a relationship with them where they can guide you and share with you their knowledge, their experience, their pain points, right? And that they can sort of show you the way. And so when you think about who could be a good mentor for you, um, and, and, and really are prepared to have a conversation with them. Um, I think it's about inviting them into this relationship of mentorship with you, right? Because sometimes we are learning from afar and, uh, you know, there, there are people I could say are my mentor that I've never really met before because they share their, their knowledge and experience. They, they create content that I can learn from, but it's different when you really have a, a relationship where it's just an open conversation that sounds basically like this. Hi, would you, would you agree to mentor me? I have a lot of respect for what you've accomplished. I think I can learn a lot from you. Um, would you be willing to, to share some things with me to help me with my growth, right? I think when you actually invite the mentor to be your mentor in a productive uh, relationship, then that opens up so much more depth to what you could learn from that person. And so think about like, who are some people in your industry or in industries that um, are, you know, are, are real, like in relation to what you do that you could learn from these, these people, these successful people. Um, and when you work with your mentor, just let me give you a couple tips on this too, because I, I've had the um, pleasure of mentoring people and I love to share. And I think any successful person will tell you that their journey to whatever you perceive as their success has been um, balanced with both, you know, triumph and uh, some some tragedy <laughs> along the way, right? Some mistakes along the way. 
So I'm willing to share all of that. I'm willing, I'm willing to share the wins. I'm willing to share the ways I've learned, the ways I failed forward. That's fine. Yet, I think it's important that you understand and appreciate that your mentor also has, you know, other things to do and they have responsibilities and obligations. So when you do get together, so whether it's like a cup of coffee or you're meeting that mentor at their office, come prepared. Come prepared with a few questions you want to ask. Maximize that time with them because you might only get a half an hour, an hour with this person. So really make sure that you are coming in with whatever it is you want to know. Have those questions uh, ready to go and realize that, you know, you have to honor the time you have with them. So be on time. Don't take more than the time all allowed or allotted. Uh, and, and you know what I love about this? Do this with more than one person. There could be mentors in different areas of your life. It could be someone who has achieved um, financial um, wealth or they are investors. Maybe they're, again, people from your, uh, your industry or other businesses. Uh, it could be someone who has written a book, right? Whatever it is that you're looking to do, find those mentors that can help you in, in those goals in those areas of your life. I think that could be really powerful. And lastly, you know, on this whole topic of really what we're talking about is, is understanding that your growth can really be fueled by the people around you and that there's, we're always learning from each other, right? As human beings, we're always modeling behavior. Um, when you think about it as, you know, babies, right? Babies are learning to speak because they hear other people speaking and, you know, we're saying to that baby, uh, come on, say mama, right? So they're trying to model after us. And so that never changes in our life. Uh, we're always learning from the people and things around us. We're always modeling behavior. So I think it's important for us to understand that and then to get more purposeful with it because it gives us the opportunity then to really connect with the people who could create a catalyst for our growth. So, um, who are the people that you want to connect with? Uh, who are the people that you want to talk to and maybe learn from? And are they going to be your mentor? Uh, do you need to hire a coach? And then the last question I want to leave with you is, who can you be a mentor to? Who could you help? Is there someone that you could turn around and, and extend a hand to and say, hey, let me help you on your journey to success? Because that, to me is how we can pay it forward, right? When you think about all the great people you've learned from, can you now turn around and teach someone else? Um, and so mentorship is a cycle. And I think that amazing things can happen when we're willing to take the time to share our blessings and share our experiences and share our knowledge and help all of us to you know, become more in the process. So thank you for letting me be a mentor to you. Thank you for coming in every week and listening to this podcast. You guys are amazing. And um, we've had so much fun, my team and I doing this, and we appreciate you. So continue to share it. Every episode that you feel has helped you, share it with one person. That's how we can pay it forward, right? That's how we can create that ripple effect. And uh, I appreciate you for doing that. So, so we'll see you next time. Thanks.